What do you do with your ideas? All of you generate ideas all the time. You have these images that come in your head and you say, wow, that's cool. And many times students will have ideas so fast that they can't document them. They'll have an idea and by the time they think of that idea, then another one will sort of superimpose itself and say, oh, okay. And they start thinking of this and then another say, oh, well, this is even better. How do you keep track of these things? Has that ever happened to you? Yeah. 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 It happens to creative people all the time. All the time. So what I'd like to ask you to do is to participate in an activity that will help you generate this ability to get the ideas that you see up here and put it down on paper. But we'll be doing this in sketch form. Now, how many people say, oh, I love to draw? You, do you know, I find, I find that if you ask someone in kindergarten, do you love to draw? The whole class will raise their hand. <laughs> and then up through about the fifth or sixth grade, do you like to draw? Oh, yeah. And once you get into high school, then, oh, kind of. <laughs> or maybe two or three people will raise their hand. What's going on there? Well, some people say, well, I, I can't draw. <laughs> you can draw when you're in kindergarten. <laughs> What's the problem? So. What I'll ask you to do is to exercise your drawing ability. But we don't want you to spend a lot of time making things pretty. We just want the idea down on paper. But if someone says, draw a mailbox, what do you do? <laughs> okay, a stick and a half circle. Or, but one of the first things you need, you have some decisions to make. You have to decide, hmm, what kind of mailbox am I going to draw? You know, is it the, is it the kind that stands on the side of the road and that has a flag that comes up and things like that? Or is it the kind that mounts on, yes, on, on the front of your house? and oh. you slip things in. Is it the kind that you see on the side of the street downtown? Those, those big oh. things that you, you put packages in and such. So the first thing you need to do is decide, all right, what kind of mailbox are we talking about? Once you do that, are you ready to draw? Hmm, is, is there another decision that needs to take place? Yeah. What? How do you want the mailbox to look like? Or what size of the mailbox? Okay, well, yes, something like that. For me, the challenge would be, okay, well, from what angle am I going to start to draw this? You know, do I draw it straight on? Do I draw it from the side? Mailbox that hangs on your house doesn't look like much if you try to draw it from the side. <laughs> yeah, it, profile. So you need to determine what's the best way to communicate that this is a mailbox. Many of our students would try to do it sort of from an angle because by looking at the front and getting some of the top and some of the side, you get a better understanding of what the product is or what the object is. So once you've decided what kind of mailbox it is and the angle that it's going to be drawn from, is there any other decision that you need to make? You, uh, <laughs> okay, well, what about its posture or position? Is it gonna, if you have on the side of the road mailbox, is it going to have the lid open? Is it going to have the flag up? 
You know, things, simple things like that, but the decision, you've got to decide that in order to get it down on paper. So, <clears throat> with that in mind, what I'd like to have you do is take your rolling chairs to a suitable location where you can draw with the paper and pencil that's provided. And I'll tell you what it is that we're going to be doing. I will call out to you the name of an object. And I'll ask you to draw it. Challenge is you only get 30 seconds. 30 seconds. <laughs> so I will, I will announce what it is. I'll repeat it so that you understand it. And then the timer will start. And when it gets to 15 seconds, I'll say 15, so you know. And then as it ticks on, I will get down to the last five seconds. I'll count down five, four, three, two, one. And then I'll tell you the next object to draw. We'll be doing a total of 10 objects. We'll be in and out of this in five minutes. I mean, what's the problem? <laughs> All right, does everyone have paper? Yes. Everybody's got pencil. Yes. And everybody's got elbow room. Here is the first object. We ready? <laughs> Mailbox. <laughs> Mailbox. So you get to decide the orientation, what kind it is, by the way, 15. No joke. <laughs> it happens fast. Five, four, three, two, one. Rocking chair. <laughs> 